After the remnants of Hurricane Nicholas moved through Louisiana earlier this week, some in Evangeline Parish are still dealing with high water. Amon Boyd reports from Ville Platte on what people want done and what's being done to prevent flooding. Here behind Blake Street in Ville Platte, the water has receded here in the Cooley, but residents say they're tired of having to worry about flooding when tropical storms hit. What was a small ditch, maybe two feet, we used to jump over. It's now a canal and it fills with water constantly and it travels all the way from there all the under the house all the way to the street. Vilplat native Thelma Toussaint wants to preserve her childhood home. It's a problem. It's a serious problem. All the green on the house, that's how high the water has come and the water actually went into the house. This is Iman Boy with KTC. We went straight to those in charge. Police juror Daniel RV was the only person who responded. In the city, we know take care of things out of the rural area, but now uh, since they have a serious problem, we are trying to help out the city uh, to see about getting this place, getting it resolved. With several inches of rainfall from Nicholas, RV says the system was overwhelmed. The drain has been cleaned a few years ago, and it's just that it's just so much water, and we just can't handle the water all at one time. But we are looking to, to look at another way to see about what we can do about it. It's unclear what can now be done to save the property. Toussaint is hoping a solution will be found. It gets larger and larger with every big rain because it's eroding and it's eroding quickly. The people that are in charge city-wise, they need to do something about it. Talk is not going to get it done. Action speaks louder than words. In Ville Platte, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3. In the aftermath of Hurricane Ida, where he